Hello traders, welcome to a new uh, Sierra chart guide video here on the channel. I haven't done one of these in several months now, but I want to start getting back into this. I know a lot of people are starting to migrate uh, to more professional platforms, especially, you know, people that started out with just trading view, etc. And they're discovering Sierra charts if they're moving into futures and stuff so it's definitely for me the best platform there is and is the platform that i use for all of my futures trading and so in today's video i'm going to show you how you can import one indicator or study from one chart into the other i'm going to keep it very simple and i'm going to show you how you can apply a moving average into a daily chart and then how you can import it into your lower time frame charts as well so you can display it over there so for this i have just a basic chart book we have the micro e mini s p 500 uh, on screen right now this is the daily chart and i also have a hourly chart and i have a five minute chart the five minute chart i just have a a session volume profile with VWAP hourly chart I just have the different days divided and then this blue background this is just a uh, a highlight for Mondays I like to have this indicator just because it's very easy for me to see where each week begins and I'm gonna make a video soon another tutorial for Sierra and show you how you can apply this indicator to highlight your Mondays okay so basically we're gonna apply a moving average to the daily chart and then we're gonna put it into our hourly and our five minute so first thing we're gonna do just go to analysis studies and we're gonna go on the studies list here go to moving average simple add if you click apply you're just gonna get the basic template that you get which is green and it's under 10 periods so here if you select it go to settings so you see it says 10 period we want to make it 50 then on the short name I always like to give specific names for every study or indicator that I put in so that it's very easy to identify so let's just put 50 MA and a 50 apply. So now if we go out, now it says 50 MA and then moving average simple. This is especially useful when I day trade and I on my charts, on my longer term charts, I always have a 200, a 50 and a 20 moving average. So it's important to give specific names to each one here on the short name so that you can differentiate uh, all the different indicators when you have several of the same thing. Now, if you go into subgraphs, I'm just gonna make this a dark blue line. Uh, this, I'm gonna take this off. I don't like to display these values because as you can see here, we have all these letters here if you have a lot of indicators this is just going to fill with letters and numbers all across the screen so what i like to do is take this off click apply and now you can see that now this is clean and it doesn't have a, a bunch of numbers and things but again this is just a personal preference short name again i'm going to write 50 ma and this is going to be for a label you don't have to put a label but i like to put labels on this ones because like i said i use three moving averages so i like to differentiate them so now i click i enable name label apply and now you can see we have our moving average and it says 50 ma here i usually have it at the right edge or at the right side like that okay so now 
we have everything ready we have our indicator we have a name for it okay so that is our daily chart and we have our moving average now let's go into the one hour if we would go into the one hour and we go to studies and we go and apply a moving average settings and let's leave it green so we can differentiate it if I put 50 and I apply a moving average obviously I'm gonna get a 50 moving average but this is a moving average based on the hourly periods this is an hourly chart what I want to do is I want to display this daily moving average on my lower time frames so I don't need to do this this is not what I need to do so I'm just gonna remove this and what you're gonna do is um, go into right over here let me see one second you're gonna go into study overlay you go down here don't choose this one study overlay OHLC it's not this one that we want to use we want to use this one study price overlay so click apply I click add is over here if you click apply it's gonna open this thing up which obviously now it doesn't really make any sense over here but what we're gonna do is go to settings short name we're gonna call it 50 daily moving average and then over here study to over chart region we're gonna choose one because right now this is showing the study under here because this is region two we want region one which is here so change the chart region to one and then over here click on study to overlay and from this drop down is going to give you the list of all the charts you have so let's select daily and then over here it gives you the list of in indicators or studies on your daily chart so we're going to choose 50 ma click apply and right now you can see we got a 50 moving average up here you can see it just says average AVG on top we're gonna change that in subgraphs so again I'm gonna take off all this display values because I want to get rid of all these numbers and letters here so as you can see once I click apply all this goes away this is just personal preference and then on the short name let's put 50 daily ma I like to put daily when I'm on the lower time frames just so I know that this is referencing a study from a higher time frame and then the label its name label right apply and now there you have it now okay okay so now I am on a 60 minute chart and now I have overlaid the 50 daily moving average from the daily chart and now we have it here and now we have it on the daily on the a one hour chart sorry and then finally if we want to apply to the five minute we can go through the same process we can go through studies we can apply the um, study overlay we just go again here study price overlay add settings 
settings show settings and input we're gonna put 50 daily ma chart region one under study to overlay we're gonna select daily chart this is the source of the overlay that we're gonna use and then we're gonna select 50 ma apply and now you can see we have it up here is it scrunched up the whole chart because obviously this moving average is a lot higher than where price is right now and then on their sub graphs again i'm going to take off the display values on top and then over here we're going to call it 50 daily ma apply okay okay so as you can see now we have our higher time frame chart with our daily moving average 50 units then we have here on the 60 minute and here on the five minute right here and obviously you can apply this to any moving average value that you want if you want to do now let's say you want to do now a 50 and a 200 moving average well you can just easily go to studies select this click duplicate and now on the duplicate go into it and just change the name put 200 let's put another color i don't know let's put a um, light blue let's just put a lighter shade of blue for this And then here, let's call it 200 on the short name. Apply. Daily. Oh, oh here, I hadn't changed this on the length here i forgot to put 200 right there okay so now we got a 50 and a 200 moving average and then the same thing if we want to go into the one hour and apply this just go to studies duplicate this duplicate it go to settings change this to 200 change the color to what we want change the short name label to 200 and in settings and inputs now we're still on the daily chart but now you just go down here and now you select 200 you click apply and now you can see now you have two now you have the 50 and the 200 daily moving average and same thing for the five minute chart go to studies duplicate settings we make this 200 we select here and choose study from overlay daily 200 and we just change the color here to differentiate them and change the short name label right there and now if you go up we got the two moving averages on our five minute chart the two moving averages on the hourly and the two source moving averages here from the daily chart and again this you can apply it to many different indicators this is just a basic example using moving averages but again that's it for the video i hope this has been helpful again if you haven't done so make sure to subscribe hit thumbs up all that good stuff and share all these videos with your friends it'll greatly help the channel to keep growing and it'll keep um you know the content coming if we have the channel uh growing with a nice uh community behind it
okay and you can check out my website more and for all my trading courses and everything and follow me on Twitter as well so you don't miss out on any uh, analysis or charts etc that I share okay I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you all in the next video soon